pretty. Ha! You haven't even seen me. You are a liar. That's you said you're so pretty, you didn't even see me. Thank you, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, they're another. They're like, actually, you like shit. Yeah, they're like, yeah. It's like, I, I, I switched to my main screen. They're like, hmm, I take it back. Oh, oh. <laughs> actually. Have a rough day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. I haven't been on stream in so long. This is so scary. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, okay. I keep, I'm going to keep hitting you. That's I'm right. so sorry. It's okay. Uh, I'm here with Emma. Everyone say hi, Emma. You both look so beautiful today. Happy Thank crying. you. Oh I appreciate gosh. it. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing today? Say hi, Emma. Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Emma hasn't streamed in a while, so you guys have to be very nice to her. I have low self-esteem. <laughs> We're all going to be very nice. It's going to be very chill. We're reading scary stories today, chat. Um, in case you don't know what we're doing today. In case you haven't read the title. But yeah, how's everyone doing? It's been a week <laughs> since I've been live. <laughs> I've just been really busy this week. It's been like a year. So. <laughs> you know, it That's happens. Bad, it yeah. happens. You've been busy. You've been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. Yeah. Blue. Hope you are well. Less than three. Thank you. Read all. All you guys are subs. Thank you, uh, Minecarus for the 13th. Thank you, Biblo for the 14th. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan is one of my friends. Thank you for the two mm -hmm. months. Um, oh, he said he said Nietzsche is so pretty. It was Ryan. Oh, Thanks, Ryan. Ryan. Um, Spider Raps, thank you for the prime. Uh, Jules, thank you for the eight months. Brandon, thank you for the three months. Um, Ali, thank you for the 32. Tim V, thank you for the Prime. And Sunflower, thank you for the Prime. Oh my god, I have so many friends here today. Thank you guys. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm trying to read chat. Um, you guys look so nice. Thank you. You guys, do you, like, you guys like my shirt? <laughs> you have how many more days? Three days? Yeah, it closes on Monday. You have three more days to order the shirt, guys. You should do that. Please do. I work really hard. <laughs> Emma worked really hard. Oh man. Oh yeah, this is the first time Emma met the cats and they're so curious around her. They're like, oh, oh there we go. It's May. <laughs> you can't see her. She just she just joined covering the screen. <laughs> I think you and May would be great friends though. Oh warm up. Yeah. We um think we need to lower the noise get a little bit. It's a little Hey Nick there we go. Emma. Should be better. Can't wait for this stream. There we go. I also have my washing machine on in the background in case you can hear background noise. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Jesse, for the thirty three months. I appreciate it. No, it's the ghost Holy watching. Moly, it's the ghost watching. Oh my god. I did I tell you about this? I was reading scary stories here the other day and I, like second to last story i was reading i felt something behind me and i was like i'm sure that's just my paranoia like i'm reading scary stories i'm sure that's just gonna you know i'm just paranoid yeah and then two stories later my pc freezes and turns off and this pc is three months old i have never had a problem with it no two days before that i was on a podcast talking about like my experiences the camera goes blurry and turns off and I asked them if that happened before. They said it never happened before. They have never had issues before. Ghosts just like you. They do. I have been waking up with really weird scratches. I think, I'm hoping it's the cats, but like my back is like fully scratched up to, in places I can't reach. Yeah. <laughs> so chat, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, something might be going on. I don't know, but it's, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. That's what I've been saying. Damn, ghosts never fuck with me. I don't know what it is. Yeah. They don't fuck with me either, but it's kind of a little sensitive, <laughs> you know. They don't, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I put I don't myself know out is. there and they're like, nah. Yeah. They they take your shape though. They took your shape once. Yeah. Yeah. That was insane. Yeah. A ghost once took took Emma's shape and scared one of our friends. Well, not friends. A guy, <laughs> a guy living in the a, same a house. A guy we knew. A guy, a guy visiting our friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was scary. That was not. That was. Yeah. I don't know. That was so weird. Right. Did we tell that story for context? Uh, I yeah, it? sure. Do you want to yeah. tell it? Because I've retold it a few times. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I want to hear. Know. I want to hear it from your story. Okay. Yeah, from your point of All view. All I know is like I walk into the house, you know, um, 
And then uh, this dude comes, this dude is like another streamer that we don't talk about anymore. Um, comes to me, he's like, Emma, why are you such a fucking bitch? And I'm like, I am, he's but like, like, what did really I do? Angry. You know what I mean? I'm like, I mean, I am, but what the <laughs> hell? You're like, what, what did like, I do now? I'm like, yeah, but I didn't do anything to you, man. <laughs> yeah. um, and he was like, you were like ignoring me like earlier this morning. And I'm like, I wasn't here this morning. Like, mm-hmm. what are you talking about? And he's like, you weren't at the house. And then our other friend, again, it was her house. And she's like, no, like, Emma wasn't over. Like, she came over, like, just now. Like, I just walked in the door. Yeah, like, we were watching a film. Yeah, like, we didn't do anything. And um, he said, like, he was, like, in the bathroom, like, on the top floor. And he was, like, on the phone with his mom. And someone started, like, banging on the door, like, really aggressively. And um, he's, like, you know, he goes out to go see who it is. And he, like, sees, like, me. He sees... He sees like I had the split dye hair at the time. He said he saw like me with like split dye hair, and he was like, "Do you have tattoos on your leg?" And that time I was like wearing pants, and I was like, "Yeah." And then I showed him my leg tattoos, and he was like, "No, I like saw you like walk down the stairs. You were like, ignoring me, and I was like calling after you." And I'm like, "No, you were not. Like I was not here." Yeah. And then, and then, while we, we were sitting in the movie room, the projector turns off, and the speaker started playing like a really loud sound. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah. That was terrifying. It was terrible. So yeah. Thank you, Alfie, for the 26. But yeah, that was that was weird. But yeah, Emma, Emma has never seen a ghost, but ghosts have definitely taken yeah, her to mess with me. Yeah. You know, and that was the thing. I think like the also I realized like after all that because everybody had experienced a ghost in that house but me. Mm. But I wear an evil eye twenty four seven around my ankle. Nobody mm. ever sees it, but I'm always wearing an evil eye, and I feel like that's the only reason the ghost never fucked with me because I always have that on. Yeah, that yeah. might be. Because that house was know. definitely creepy. Because everybody else got to see something but me. Like, everybody else that has ever been in that house has a story except for me. Yeah. Like, that's the closest I've gotten. Yeah. And you were in that house a lot. I was there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I slept over, like, all the time. Yeah. And I was there more than anybody else. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell? Really strange. Yeah. Just left me alone. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I scared them. Maybe I'm too weird for the ghost. Mm. They're like, this bitch is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we don't know what she would do if we showed, him, if we showed ourselves to her. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. She, they knew I was trying to smash, so they were like, <laughs> yeah. that's not, this they're bitch like is a freak. They're like, she's coming off a little too strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'd be there, like, alone. I'd be sleeping in the movie room alone, and I'd be like, ooh, I hope nobody, like, <laughs> crawls into bed with me. I don't know. I hope no little spooky guy. <laughs> you know, I want to get it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki, what a week. Flash pop. Also hoping the scratches are a coincidence, monkey. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Thank you, Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're just a coincidence. I have, wait, I actually have pi- a picture. Uh, I didn't want to post them on my story because it's literally my back and I don't want to post my back on my story. Yeah. Ew. Ew. It was right after I showered as well. That so doesn't like, look like a cat scratch. Those are big. And then this was like in the morning. It was like right here. Yeah, those are big. I'll show you chat, but I'm gonna like... Like zoom, zoom in. All the way into the flesh. <laughs> zoom, zoom in. There you go. This is my back. This is like my shoulder blade. There. And I can't reach that place. Um, and it doesn't look like a cat scratch. And then I have one on my, on my breast. You can see it where my tattoo is, but I'm obviously not going to show you my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nikki yeah. gone wild. <laughs> I know, I know. That's why I didn't want to post it on my story because I'm like, oh, mm. weird. But yeah, so that's been going on. <laughs> and I've been having those for like the past three days. Do they hurt? Are they like stink? No, not at all. It's like I turn around. Like I, this morning, like I, I like, like, what is it called? Like dried myself. I turn around and I see them like, what the fuck? I just came out of the shower. Like I, there was like nothing there. Yeah. So yeah, it was strange. You know, weird things been happening, but uh today we're gonna read about you guys' weird things are you guys excited do i think i have an attack i don't think i have an attachment i think it might just be residual i don't think it's actually like something intelligent the yeah, ghost is yeah, like hey <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah because i i don't <laughs> i don't think so but you know if the if the pc okay if the pc turns off again today then i know for a fact it's something intelligent because it's never happened before it's only happened last time that's fair yeah and this house i, I told this to my chat before i don't think this house is like 
haunted or anything because I'm first time like mover. Like I'm the yeah, first. Yeah, the building's person way here. too new. Yeah, the buildings are way too new. So yeah. I don't think it, it would be the building. I definitely think it would be me. Has it been happening after the conjuring? Yeah. It's been happening after the conjuring house. Do they know about that? Yeah, I okay. think I think it got leaked somewhere. It's not me leaking it. Okay. But yeah, I went to the conjuring house, guys. <laughs> Okay. Let's. Can we see. talk about wait, how funny it was? Because I was asking Nikki to hang out because I don't know where you were. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And I'm, I'm just like, hey, like, what are you doing today? And you're like, I'm at the Conjuring House. I'm like in fucking Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. well, I said Connecticut yeah. initially because I thought she meant like the Ed and Lorraine Warren House. Yeah. And I was like, but you meant the legit Conjuring House. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like a Friday night. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. Friday night. You know, Emma's like, oh, let's hang out tonight. I'm like, I'm trying to get anybody to go to Korean barbecue with me because I needed <laughs> yeah. it so bad. And then you're like, oh, I'm, like, I'm at the Conjuring. I'm at the Conjuring house. You're in fucking Rhode Island. You know? What? <laughs> the usual, you yeah. know. <laughs> Normal. That's awesome. I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. be safe. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I'm so ready for that video. Oh my god, chat, you are not ready. You're not ready for what you're gonna see there. I heard about it. It was crazy. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, is everyone ready? Are we ready, chat? Are you ready to go into some spooky, sp spooky music and spooky stories let's do it all right i try to fix the screen a little bit so this is the screen oh it actually worked perfectly oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> that's cute um and then here are the stories sorry now my ic is on so you're gonna hear a lot of background noise until it's spooky. gone yeah very spooky spooky background noise we love it mm -hmm. um but yeah uh, i tried to fix it you guys should be able to read it by now uh can you read this, Emma? Are you able to read, like, this? Yes. Yeah? Do you want me to maybe move it like that? Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so this one we read last time. And then we're gonna, we can go down from here. Do you want me to start? Do you want to start? You can start. I'm kind of ass at reading out loud, but I'll try my best. Oh, uh, you're all I'm, good. I'm, I'm like, well. you know, I'm a high school dropout. I'm not the most. Oh, <laughs> you're I'm so not the brightest fine. bulb on the tree. I'm not a native English speaker, so no, they know. Yeah. They're aware. We're going to be so They're used to it. Yeah, yeah. They're very used to it. That's why I have it on the screen, so they can read with us. Thank so God. they know what we're saying. So they can see that we're not pronouncing <laughs> shit correctly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So they can see how bad we are at reading. Mm -hmm. You're so welcome, chat. You're yeah. so welcome. All right. <clears throat> Kinda wanna wait until my AC is done though. Okay, let's wait until my AC is done. Sorry about that. <laughs> it just it just cools down my room for a little bit. <gasps> Actually, that happened last time as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you know, me jumping no, to fine. fucking my thoughts. Um so the AC, you, you can feel it, right? Yeah. This is what this is what the AC does. It cools down and then it stops and then it's fine again. Right after it stopped, usually it's cold for a little bit. I was sweating like I felt so hot and warm right after the AC stopped I was like what is going on it was it was so scary it was so weird you can barely hear it okay it should be fine then I think we can hear it more than um yeah it's a little bit annoying I'm sorry about that I spilled water over my GoXLR and that's why it's like <laughs> messed up oh, <really? laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you for the five gifted so puppy girl thank you so much I really appreciate it thank you thank you reverse IC I know it was scary and then we had a conversation about what is cold because i think what is it 72 is really cold and they were like no that's not cold that's not cold fahrenheit it's not <laughs> it's cold for me it's pretty like normal <laughs> um okay anyways all right if you guys can't hear it then we can just move on and read it's not too bad um all right i'm gonna start <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I used to live in a haunted house. Growing up, I used to see shadow figures ducking around corners and in my backyard. My brother would hear voices coming from the other room in the basement. When he hosted sleep when he hosted sleepovers, at one point both my parents were so convinced they could hear someone walking around the main floor in the middle of the night, they called 911, only for the police to find absolutely nothing. For me, the worst of it was that I used to get crazy hallucinations with sleep paralysis. 
Some things I saw and felt include a little boy standing and talking to me at the end of my bed, bed a face in my ceiling, a shadow figure standing by my head as I felt fingernails lightly dragging down my back. Oh, I can, I can tell you about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and at one point I felt like something grabbed my wrist and started pulling me off the bed, but it shook, but I shook awake. The way you do when you're falling into a dream and wake up before I could. When I lived there, this maybe happened once a month, but since I've moved out five years ago, I've only had sleep paralysis a handful of times, but never with hallucinations. I actually get sleep paralysis as well. Um, I haven't had them in a while. I got them really bad when I was in the UK, which makes me think maybe that ha house was haunted, because I know for a fact that a lot of people who live in haunted houses, like getting sleep paralysis is one of their really things they get. Yeah. I've gotten sleep paralysis. I've never seen like a demon or some shit though. Oh really? Yeah, like mm -hmm. I've got on it like pretty often. Like if I fall asleep on my back, I'm pretty much guaranteed to like have sleep paralysis. Yeah, me too. And a lot of times what happens for me is like, I'm like aware that I'm awake, but I'll get like stuck in a dream or something. Mm -hmm. But I'll be aware that I'm dreaming and I'll be lucid and trying to wake up. Mm -hmm. But then I can't like open my eyes, but I can also feel my physical body being like just like stuck, awake. like sleep paralyzed. Yeah, they can't wake yeah. up. But I've never like been able to like open my eyes and look around and like see demons and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I have. I've seen shadows, I've seen faces, I've had things jump on me. Oh, there no. was one time I was living with my back then boyfriend. Well, I wasn't living with him, I was sleeping at his place. And he had a roommate. And in the middle of the night I woke up and I see the door open and I feel like the floorboards, like someone running and jumping on our bed, like onto us. No. And I thought his roommate just opened the door no, in the middle don't. of the night and ran to us and jumped in our bed. But then I woke up from it and I, but it was really weird because I, I, like, even the next morning I asked him, like, his roommate, and he was like, no, I didn't. That'd be so fucking <laughs> like, what? what if he did? What if he just denied? Like, what if he actually he did? just pranked me. Yeah. But my boyfriend didn't wake up, so um, I don't think, I don't think It was just, like, did. a thing you felt. I think it was just sleep paralysis. That's crazy. But yeah, I've had like things sit on me, things like talk to me. I've had the weirdest sleep paralysis. But that was, that was, I think that was the funniest. Damn. So yeah. I think all my hallucinations were just from me being crazy. They went from my ghost. <laughs> you know, just from me being a little too <laughs> silly up here. You see, that, that's what I thought before I went to the Hellfire Caves. I thought mm -hmm. the shadow figures that I see are just me being batshit crazy. Yeah. But then I saw them there and I was like, oh, fuck. Maybe I see more than. I should see. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So I think I'm a little less crazy now. That's good. Yeah. More heels. Just a little. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's that's crazy though. It's it's the when when you said that your parents called nine one one in the middle of the night. Actually, at the house we were talking about earlier, the streamer house. When I slept there the first night, I kept or every night i kept hearing footsteps and like mm -hmm. knocks and stuff and i thought it was them just like coming home and talking and walking mm -hmm. but then i asked them the next morning i was like hey like when did you come home or did you come home and they were like no we weren't at home like i kept hearing footsteps in that house yeah that's what a lot of people said yeah. that's what connor said and then he like and left. He, he, left. he didn't even stay the whole night he was like i'm getting the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah connor eats pants was staying in that house like a week before i arrived and he didn't tell me this. I heard this from other people. I can't believe he didn't tell me this because he knew I was coming there. I think I told you when you got there. I was yeah. like, hey, you know this place is hella haunted, right? Yeah, I didn't know. And But he like he stayed there the first night before the night even ended. In the middle of the night, he left because he was like, this, this place is weird. I don't want to be here. So, you know, that place was definitely haunted. That place is so crazy. Yeah. Oh, you okay? What are you saying? A person just walked past here. No. I saw, like, on the thing. Is that your cat? Oh, what? Wait, chat, was there something? Wait, is this. Am this, I just is stupid? It, is it my elbow? Like, my elbow. It could have been. Too? Oh. I think I'm that's just so stupid. Scary. I don't want to freak you out. I'm just dumb. No, you're all fine. You're all good. I'm just I'm, the paranoid little honestly, guy. <laughs> like, I, honestly, I think even, like, this room makes me uncomfortable. Now, after the stream, this room makes me uncomfortable. The other rooms are fine, but this room definitely makes me uncomfortable. So you're so fine. I get it. Yeah. I just get a little squeamish. I'm probably just being yeah. dramatic chat. I don't want to freak anybody that's out. That's all good. That's, I literally... Oh, no, yeah, because he's right here. <laughs> yeah. Right and then right Nara's down here. And Zuko would not be in here. No, and Zuko's so not... I, just, I thought it's like... A, Got a cat, but it's okay. not a cat. I don't know. I'm just stupid. We'll see. You. <laughs> I think I'm just being dramatic. I'm freaking everybody out now for no reason. You're all I'm good. sorry. I, last time, I got scared by my AC. 
My AC, I was scream I screamed at my AC because <laughs> I was so scared reading these. So you're so fine. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, imagine i even had like because this is like a really white like room imagine i had like a spooky setting yeah that would be terrifying um you've seen a creeping all my like little knickknacks and stuff i would love that my alien yeah i love your little knickknacks thank you (laughs) um you two are streamers for the girlies with crumbs in their beds in the best way possible. <laughs> so much. I actually don't need it in my actually, bed. That's actually so true that I do. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore now that I have a couch, but before I had a couch, I didn't eat in my bed. Now I have my couch. I'm so scared couch. of bugs. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not against them. I'm so scared of bugs. I did on the floor, though. That's not true. There mm. were times when I'd have a whole, when I get really depressed, I'll have like a whole carton of like goldfish next to my bed, and I'll be sitting there just like <laughs> devouring handfuls of goldfish. Girl dinner. Yeah, yeah. That's like, so I'll like smoke before bed, too, so I'm high as shit, and then I just, <laughs> just like, shove my whole hand into the carton of goldfish. I love that. Yeah, you know. That's so funny. Tee hee. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. This is a really long one. I'm sorry. Okay. I had a fish tank back when I was young, but like a really big 70 gallon fish tank. We had this tank for a few years and it never once had a leak or endangered our fish in any way. One morning my family woke up and we went to school and my mom then went over to feed the fish as she did every morning. However, this morning she dropped the fish food into an empty tank. It was bone dry. There was no water in the tank, on the floor, around the tank, or even on the other side of the wall. All of our fish were laying against the bottom of the tank, dead and dry. Um, the first thought in this situation is perhaps the tank had a leak and maybe the water sank through the floor and or evaporated, but then we realized some of the fish were still alive. Oh my god. Poor fishies. Yeah. We rescued them and put them in a temporary fish tank, of course, but this meant that the water had been drained recently. It hadn't been an all night, eight hour plus draining event. 70 gallons, 264 liters of water had disappeared out of our tank in an hour or two. We checked throughout the house and found some water on the floor in the kitchen but it was across the room and separated by a wall. There was also water in one of the bathrooms, but it was across the house and caused by a loose pipe, which ended up being completely unrelated. It simply disappeared. We even pulled up the flooring around the tank and there was no evidence of any water damage or any water having been there at all. We've consulted fish and aquarium experts and never gotten a good answer. How do you you just like have a fish expert plug? (laughs) Um, How rich are you? I'm sorry. Yeah, just let me consult my fish expert. expert, The aquarium. Yeah. Um, It's it's still the most confusing thing that has ever happened to me to this day. Our family conclusion is that our house is some kind of paranormal activity, even if it's just a thirsty ghost. That's fucked. A thirsty ghost. He just just drank. I just like that he put a straw in there and just like. (laughs) (laughs) Just sucked up all the fish water. The yeah. thirsty ghost. What kind of fish? Yeah, and then he had to pee, so he, you know he had to relieve himself. Yeah, it just pissed on your floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's. Oh, it's so a ghost. Weird. So it just went through him. You know? Yeah, just... yeah, true. <laughs> the poor fish. Yeah, the poor fish. That's crazy. Two hundred and sixty-four liters, seventy gallons. That's a lot of fish water. That is a lot of water. Wow. Yeah, I don't even have an explanation for that. I don't know where the water could have gone. I don't even know. That that's terrifying. Yeah. That is scary. I'm so sorry. I hope the fish survived. I, got, I hope most of the fish survived. It'd be a great prank. Go to somebody's house and sell their <laughs> fish water. <laughs> just, their fish just, to die. Just empty the tank. Yeah. Like, this was. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is going to be so funny. <laughs> That'd be sick. Oh my god. I'm kidnapping yeah. someone's fish. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the sub. <clears throat> Um, when I was about three or four, we were finishing moving into a new house. I remember my parents were unpacking in the kitchen downstairs, and I was promised ice cream if I did the kid equi- equivalent of cleaning my room, putting toys away, away clothes haphazardly shoved in the dresser, etc. It wasn't much mess to clean. I did so and went to get them to show and went to get them to show them. But in the hallway stood someone I've always called the red-eyed man. He was standing in the middle of the hallway with an angry glower on his face, staring me down. It was like he was in grayscale, wearing overalls and a dirty white tank top with red glowing eyes. I did that awkward kid thing where they slowly pushed past the person to get around them, too excited about ice cream and used the movers bringing furniture and such in the house to question it too deeply. Oh, right. Um, racing downstairs to get... My parents, wait, um, 
You're Sorry, right. Sorry, I messed up. Yeah, Rising wanted to get my parents. When the three of us came back upstairs, he was gone and my room was a mess. Toys and clothes all over the floor. My parents questioned why I thought to get them and tell them it was clean when it wasn't. And I said the red-eyed man must have come in and made it messy again. My dad immediately searched the house, my mom staying with me in my room, but we nev he never found an intruder. I never saw the red-eyed man a second time. Damn. Ooh. I actually have a sim- what, well, not a similar story, but I have a story about a red-eyed man. I have a similar story about me cleaning something and then getting messed up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's not- <laughs> I was in the psych ward. <laughs> you're like, but it's my autism. <laughs> no, it's my autism. No. I was in the- one time I was in the psych ward, and you have to, like, keep your room clean, mm. you know, as you yeah. do. And I did, right? Yeah. Like, I, I had- everything was clean. I had only been there, like, a day. And, um, you know, we're all in the hallways, they're checking our rooms, and the nurse comes down and starts fucking screaming at me. Which, first of all, I'm like 17, give me a break, bro. <laughs> and he's like, and my pants were, like, a bunch of my pants and my clothes were all shoved under my bed. What? I don't know, it could have been my roommate, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, do you think your roommate, like, wanted to steal I don't know. I don't know how she away. could have done it without me seeing, though. Or, like, without, yeah. like, somebody, because, like, we're supervised, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, and he's, like, he's, like, holding my pants, and he's, like, why are these on the floor? And I'm, like, yelling at me, and I'm just, like, I don't know, because, like, I put everything Cause away. Because you, you clean everything. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know, it could have been my roommate, or it could have been the red-eyed man in the psych ward. Maybe yeah, maybe. just fucking up my shit. Maybe. I mean, psych wards are a big place of, like, like, tragedy, so. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be Because this one was, like, a weird-ass one, and, like, yeah. it was, like, a really weird, like, old-ass, like, hospital. And they're always, like, it was one of those really religious ones, too, so they're, like, extra oh, mean and weird. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that was weird. Maybe it was the red-eyed man. I don't know. Maybe. I still don't know what happened. I'm still pissed about it. Yeah, yeah. I just got yelled at. You're like, that fucking bitch, my roommate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she did that. She was kind of <laughs> chill. I don't think, I don't know. No idea. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, my story about the, like, a red-eyed man, it wasn't like a man in overalls, it was, I was sleeping in my parents' bed when I was, like, I was, like, three or four years old, really young, and my parents' bed was, like, the layout of the, of the house was really interesting, because it was, um, you have, you have the, wait, you know what, I'm gonna draw this to you, I'm gonna draw this for you guys, mm. um, just so you guys understand. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts, let me... There we go. So you have the this one is the living room, living room, and then you have the kitchen here, uh, kitchen. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then the bathroom here, and then this was my parents' bedroom. So bathroom, yeah, you know, and then bed. Okay, whatever. I give up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was sleeping in my parents' bed because I was like three years old, and I needed to pee in the middle of the night. So I go into the bathroom. And this door was open. The door to the kitchen was open. And because there is a window in the kitchen, there's no window in the bathroom, you could see like the like moonlight, the light in the middle of the night. Um, and in the kitchen door, I see this like, like seven, eight foot, like huge guy with horns and red glaring eyes. Like I remember these eyes to this day. And it was not a nightmare because I, woke up my parents and they, t they remember me waking up and telling them about it so it wasn't a yeah. nightmare and i remember um this huge guy with these like red glaring eyes and it was it looked i heard that as well that was weird um i don't know what's happening i'm swear i swear <laughs> <laughs> um and, and, and he looked at me and it was this huge like devil figure with like horns and like red glaring eyes and he's he, he wanted to like he was trying to grab me so i run away wake up my parents i'm like mom the dead the devil is standing in the kitchen door he's gonna devil the devil and she wakes up and she's like there's no one there and then he was gone and i've never seen him ever again which is crazy weird i hate that yeah there is i have another thing there's this dude called like um so in jersey i think it's in Clifton, there's um this place called like Gates of Hell, mm -hmm. and basically it's like an aban it's like a sewer drain type of thing, and apparently again leads to the Gates of Hell. It's all like graffitied mm -hmm. and shit like that. And one time I went with my friends, um, I did not go in. I waited in the car because I got new vans that day, and I didn't want to ruin them <laughs> walking through the sewer. <laughs> walking into hell. Yeah, walking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, it's yeah. not my thing. So like my two like my two like guy friends went in, and I just waited in the car. That was safe, um, and. They were gone for like a while and they said like they got pretty far in and then they just I forgot they found some type of dead animal. I don't remember what it was. And oh then God. they said like just in the they got pretty deep in and they just saw these two like and like glowing like red eyes. And then 
just like these two and they like freaked out they came back like i just like i, I was in the car for maybe like 45 minutes yeah. and then they just are sprinting back to the car and like are freaking out like hyperventil i'm like what the hell did you see oh my God. and then um we looked it up after because like in like new jersey there, i told you about it there's this thing called like weird new jersey and it compiles like all the haunted and like fucked up like weird like urban legends and stuff like that in new jersey because the place is whack as hell mm -hmm. um and yeah, there's like a thing called like Red Eyed Mike that apparently like exists like in the sewers there and a lot of people have like reported oh seeing God. it. And then um, my one friend, like he, um, his family had like an entertainment business. So like, you know, they like set up parties and stuff. So mm -hmm. sometimes he'd be in the middle of the woods and stuff because Jersey's like a really woodsy place. Mm -hmm. And um, he, for like, the next like couple of like, weeks or so, he would tell me like when they'd be out like packing up their gap, like sometimes when they'd be in like really, they, he would still see like the red eyes, like kind of kept following him it for like a while around. after, for like a month or so. Oh my god. Yeah. I just got chills. That's scary. Yeah, I don't know. Things with red eyes are just weird as hell. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Sam I mean, and Colby went there. Oh, yeah, did probably. They? There again, there's still so much good stuff in Jersey. That's what I'm saying they should go back. There's just, yeah. there's so many messed up, like, like haunted things I used to go to there, but yeah. I don't have any like real experiences of my own. Things never really fucked with me. Yeah. Even before I wore the that's evil so eye all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. I want to take you to one of these places. I'm gonna ask them. We should. It would be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause because especially because you have never experienced anything and I have experienced so much. Yeah. Like ghosts are kind of drawn to me. Like wherever I go, I just see and experience so much. So I think it would be really interesting. Yeah. Cause I know you're open to it. Like it's not like you're yeah, like yeah. I'm not like a non-believer. I'm always like hey, if you yeah. guys want to like hang out, like yeah. let me know. Like I'm very like open, oh, too open yeah. probably, but they still <laughs> yeah. don't. They're not like they yeah. don't. Yeah. That's so weird. <clears throat> All right, anyways, back uh, from yes. the devil, the red eyed man. Um, oh, 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 there we go. <clears throat> uh, wait, who was reading? You, I think you did. I think okay, it's my turn. This is your turn. This is more unexplained than paranormal, but dot dot dot. dot, dot. I was downloading something on my phone around midnight and stopped because my Wi Fi cut. I thought it wasn't just a momentary thing. But then I went to check the router. Not only had it, not only was it unplugged from the wall, but a cable also unplugged from the box itself. And getting to be here with two beautiful individuals, Mihachi love. Oh, thank you. Smooches. <laughs> this cable requires you to push down a button in order to pull it out. You can't just yank it. Along with that, in the same room, an old, partially full plastic water bottle with the cap on was on the floor under a plant and a leaf from the plant mysteriously made its way into the bottle and started turning the water a murky green slash brown color Ew. neither myself nor my parents had done these nor do we have any explanation for this how this could have happened Ew. that's so weird i always my go-to is always like if you have a sibling that's your sibling but if you don't yeah have that's a sibling, what i was thinking too yeah yeah yeah, but if you don't have a sibling, that's fucking weird. I would do weird shit like that. <laughs> you would do? Yeah, as long as like, my mom would have like make like cookie dough, I'd like go, you know, sneak in the kitchen, get a spoonful, and like fuck it, and then I'd run upstairs and eat it, and my mom would find a bunch of spoons in my room. <laughs> you know? I love that. Stuff like that. There's something, I love if that. something weird going on in the house, it's probably me being a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, hi, May. Big stretch. Big stretch. Big stretch. The, the one thing that, why I don't think I'm. I have an attachment or why i don't think anything weird is going on is because they are so chill with it but then yeah. they were also chill doing a literal earthquake they were just sleeping through it so i don't know if they just don't give a fuck yeah my or, dogs don't give a fuck either yeah, yeah or if if there's nothing going on it's very weird because i know cats are usually very like like you know yeah they're usually they really pretty perceptive it. of it yeah yeah <clears throat> so yeah i don't know it's very very strange what do you think, chat? Do you think my cats would react weird to me if I had an attachment? I think, yeah, they would I definitely so, react. Right? Yeah, I definitely do think so. Especially Zuko. Yeah. I think maybe she wouldn't, May wouldn't. I think she's, she's a spirit herself. Because she's actually <laughs> like a cat from hell. But then, and Nar, I don't think so because he's too young. He's he a silly little guy. He doesn't know anything, but Zuko definitely would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially if it was bad, though, I think they would all react. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's more, like, situational. I think so as well. I think, yeah. I don't know. Very weird. But I don't think I have anything. I think it's really just coincidences or, like, residual. Like, you know, after the Hellfire Caves, I had, like, two months of really bad luck. And then it went away. So, Interesting. it might just be that. All right. Well, thank you. 
I shouldn't move. I don't think I should have watched it before bed. Anyway, hope you well, Mihachu love. Thank you, Maki. <laughs> I know it's very late for some of you guys, but that's that's what makes it good. That's what makes it spooky. <clears throat> Hi, Nikki. This was from when I was younger, about seven or nine years old. I remember I was studying with my mom for an exam. I had when I suddenly stopped paying attention and started crying, start startling my mom. I got up from bed and closed the door that led to my closet abruptly. When my mom asked what's wrong, I told her there was like a shadow of a girl and she was looking at me. I startled my mom so much because in my old house, my old baby sister once called my mom from work crying and sounding so desperate. She said there was a little girl described as I did, short, shadowish, like long hair, that was laughing at her and threw toys around apparently. She left me home alone and my mom had to come home, come back home. Um... Since this worried my mom, she called someone that knew about this stuff and ended up being it ended up and ended up being my mom's past self, like her inner child, which was looking for comfort and healing. The woman was able to send her to peace or something and never saw the shadow again. But hey, I passed my history exam. No ghost made my little self fail. Hope you enjoyed my silly little story. That's weird. I've never heard about that. I never heard about like someone's inner child i don't think it would if be if your mom is still alive yeah i think if you're that's interesting yeah i think it probably if this is like real and this happened i don't think it would be someone who's still alive it probably like would have been an actual child yeah yeah interesting the stream keeps blurring for me. I think it's because my camera, uh, if it's the cameras, it's because my camera's on autofocus and it's two faces that it has to recognize and sometimes it like changes yes. that. Yeah, I know. I, I always slouch. I'm LNK. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I know. It's so bad. <laughs> I only realize it once I, once I see like the videos after. Oh, I'm yeah. like, oh my god, I've been slouching so bad. No, a lot of times when I stream to wear a waist trainer, so I'd be like propped yeah, up like, like a scarecrow. So like, <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> um, Interesting. Yeah, what do you think, chat? Um, let me also... So, these ones are all the ones that my mod started out. Um, so, we I have another folder of them, but I need to see which ones we have read and which ones we haven't. Oh, actually, I think we have read all I of these. I want something we juicy. You get anything juicy last stream? Mm, juicy last stream. Let's see. Chat, what was your favorite cons confession last stream? I feel like these are pretty tame. You get any that were like, oh, fuck. It's like my my little baby sister was possessed and no, no. Yeah, no like it, it didn't like, happen. Like ate my toes. Like, yeah. yeah. Some shit like that. Um, I don't remember. Oh, which one was this one? Um, oh no. Oh. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, this one was like this this per this person's mom passed away, and then they kept hearing like like cluttering like up. Of like dishes in the kitchen and they mm -hmm. think their mom was just like sorting and cleaning rearranging dishes yeah i'd be an annoying ghost i do stuff like that yeah yeah <laughs> i mean they're just a fuck of people that's fair i i mean what else are you gonna do i yeah. feel like it, it's probably boring it'd be nice i'd like fold your laundry like some days uh, but then like other wait. times like i would just cause a bunch of other havoc was that you who said that your childhood house was haunted and your I think that that must have been the neighbors. Okay. Um, your childhood house was haunted and your laundry did get folded sometimes. Was that you? I don't think so, but I've heard that being a thing. Yeah. Maybe apparently it was G. Yeah. My mom did say apparently the first house we lived because I lived in one house till I was like four, five. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we moved because then my mom they had more kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I say that, like I don't like my brother. <laughs> like yeah, they have more. Yeah. But um 
That my mom told me that apparently that house was really haunt was pretty haunted and she would like feel presences, but she said they felt really safe and stuff. But I was too young and I don't remember like really experiencing anything. But apparently my first house was haunted, but mm. I don't think my second house was freaky though, because I had a, it was like one of those I forgot what year. I think it was like the 70s where like mirrors were really in. So we had like a whole, our living room, the whole wall was a mirror, and then every single closet door in the house. It was a pretty nice house. Um, it was all like it was all mirrored walls, and people would always get so freaked out when they would come over. That sounds like my nightmare. Yeah, because like even it was like the mirror wall, like and then the stairs were on the other side. Were they facing so at each other? Yeah. That's portals. No, I know it's bad. Oh. And then also like the stairs. So when I come down the stairs, you know you can see your legs on the stairs and like oh. stuff like that. But I don't That's think anything cool. ever really happened though, you I know. See. But it was like a weird. I don't know. But I was always like really scared and like paranoid as a kid in general. Mm. Like I was like. Up until I was like a teenager, like I couldn't be like on a floor again. It was a pretty big house, so like then I think about it, which is crazy. But it was like yeah, like I couldn't be on like the floor of a house like alone, or I'd get really yeah. freaked out. Like if I was like left upstairs alone, like I would run downstairs like freaking out. Yeah, yeah. That happened with. I was always like scared of. I was always like terrified of ghosts, but like mm -hmm. nothing even happened. But I was yeah. always like afraid that someone was gonna get me. But maybe that I just had anxiety. <laughs> I had the same when I was younger, but only in one house. Um, it was when I was in Sweden and the rooms upstairs i don't i actually don't remember where i slept but the rooms upstairs uh where my brother slept were really creepy so my brother and i i remember us holding each other walking up and down the stairs because we were so scared of that house mm -hmm. and that was the first time i told my mom about my fear of mirrors as well i remember that um but there was one house uh there was one house we lived in um with a floor that i never went on to and it was we lived in a rebuilt factory so we had the whole house for us and it was multiple stories and our apartment was at the top um the floor underneath was someone else's like i think his like my mom's husband's children lived there so it was someone else's apartment the floor under that was a, a bar that they used to like play poker in and they had like he was collecting like little flipper machines so they were there and then there was in that um on that floor was a huge garage that you could drive into from the other side and then downstairs was the normal garage because it was on a mountain so it was like slanted the second floor i never went onto because my stepdad's son had a car accident and his friend died in that car and that car was staying in that garage on the second floor and i swear i swore i don't remember it myself but i swore to my mom that i saw shadow figures like walking around that car every time i went there and every winter we had to go down there to get uh wood for the furnace and i never like i i never volunteered and whenever i had to do it it was the scariest like experience the scariest thing i never wanted to go there um whenever we were going up the elevator i felt so weird whenever the like little number was on two i just did not like it yeah I, it was terrible yeah but that was that was it like that was the two floors i would never go on the sweden one and that one understandable yeah <clears throat> all right let's see if we <laughs> we can read some of these um, um, these ones are like, they're not juicy. You have to tell us what happens, guys. Yeah, give us the whole story. We need to see the one things. sentence. Yeah. There. Um, let's see. I'm going to start bullying people. Yeah. Um, I was sleeping and my sock was off. I love my socks. I was so sad. <laughs> then I remembered I was all alone. I was stuck questioning if the ghost had a thing for me. I never found my sock. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to... Can I say that? Yeah, in, in, in a video game. I'm going to beat this person. I'm going to take your sock. I'm going to beat you with it. <laughs> with your sock. <laughs> That's so funny. In a video game. <laughs> oh, my... Big stretch. We can't see the screen if you're stretching, honey. Look, Jeff. Ugh. There she is. The demon cat. Big fluff. She is. She's great. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you need help? That's okay. I feel it. Ugh. Okay. I think that's fine. 
<laughs> How did this happen? There we go. <clears throat> I'll scoot in. There okay. We go. Um. Okay, let's see if we can find some juicy ones, chat. Oh. One second, she's stretching. <laughs> Sorry, May. Sorry we're invading your space right now. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> she's sliding the she's whole monitor. back the monitors. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could see this. Um, okay. You know what would be really funny and scary? If you, like, set up a second camera, like, directly behind you. <gasps> <laughs> just for, like, the oh, streams. Oh, that would be terrifying. That would be so scary that you could, oh like, switch to you so it's, like, the back of our heads. Yeah. That would be spooky. That would be so spooky. It's like someone looking at us. Yeah. Well, yeah. the tree would be. Yeah, it's like you guys watching. Yeah. That would be scary. Oh, my God. Okay, this one. I'll read this one. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait. Is it your turn? Is it my turn? I don't remember. I don't remember either. We're so Chad, bad who, who, Chad, uh, who's does, does the sock one count? <laughs> I don't think the sock one counts. I think I can read it again. It's fine. <laughs> Socks in bed is supernatural enough. Yeah, why are you even sleeping with socks yeah, on? The ghost that's... was doing you a favor, you freak. <laughs> yeah, that should have been the first warning oh. sign. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, you can read this one. <laughs> I've spent my whole life being told I'm psychic or empathet empathetic. Empath empathic? I can read. Empathic. I know words. <laughs> um, empathic, <laughs> etc. Um, I saw a ghost as a kid, had night terrors, sometimes premonitions. Now I'm a lot less prone to believing in anything. I find a lot of comfort in the fact that we all turn to dirt and that's it. Thank you so much. This is nothing. Why the fuck do you... Sorry, I'm pulling people now. I don't no, know. it's okay. I don't know for sure, but there's definitely some stuff that should have... I should have never been able to know, see, or do. You should tell, tell me a story! That doesn't mean them. shit to me! What happened? What have you seen? What do you know? Yeah, what, what is this? You know? What the hell is this? Exactly. I'm gonna bully you guys. Uh, you have such a nice community, too. <laughs> like being it's too. okay. Will went on the stream for, for a confession stream, and he all he did was bully them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a man, so he gets away with it. <laughs> yeah, you're, <right. laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I used a Ouija board a few years ago and communicated with apparently a young girl named Daisy who had passed away at five. For a few weeks after that, I witnessed a lot of light stirring, turning on by itself and doors swinging. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I actually would never touch a Ouija board. Have you ever? No. No. I've supervised people and mm -hmm. then they don't do it right and they're assholes about it because oh, I've, I cause I've tried to like get people to like, if you know, I'll be like, I'll watch you. Yeah. There was one time um, I had these dumbass. <laughs> I don't know, friends. <laughs> and they were like, let's get a Ouija board and do it in the graveyard. And I'm like, hey, that's not. That's not you know what that. I mean? And, uh, Why did that delete itself? I did not. I was not on the keyboard. I was here. No, I watched you. I watched it. You just clicked it and the whole thing just deleted it. Oh, that could be a silly little tech thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just a little a little tech error. Yeah. We'll say that. Um. Anyways, don't, don't you continue. Yeah. Sorry, they did. The um, yeah. So I go and I go to supervise, and I'm like, hey, don't do that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, because it's just really disrespectful, and they be and they were disrespectful about it. Um, and uh, anyway, I watched them do it, and they did the Ouija board or whatever, and I don't remember. They're just like, hello, how are you? Like, how'd you die? The shit you're not supposed to ask, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And then at one point, the Ouija board just spells out, like, I am God. And then immediately, they, like, we, like, close the board, and we, like, all pack. I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here and go home. Because obviously, like, you know, it's really bad. If a ghost or spirit is saying they're God or yeah. something like that, like, that is, like, you are That's... talking to Satan himself, yeah. you know, type shit. You're talking to something. Else. Yeah. And that was it. But like I said, I only have, like, little things like that. I mean, that's not impressive. Like, you know, I don't right. have anything solid where I could yeah. be, like, I don't know. It's just, right. like, I'll have, like, little things like that. Like, I thought I saw someone, you know, but, like, did I see? Mm -hmm. I don't, it's not, you know. Nothing, Nothing crazy. Like concrete. Nothing where I could say I have a real ghost story or anything right. real. He went, come up. Come up, but that baby. Was fucked up. Hi. He got his vaccines today, chat. Love him, man. He's doing so good. He is. I can't believe his fucking paws are ridiculous. Yeah. Look at this thing. They're so silly. They're so silly. Yeah, I would never touch a Ouija board. No. Um, Sam. I have a lot of Ouija board decor and that freaks people out sometimes, though. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me in that way. Right. I don't know. I don't not, think my blanket from Spirit Halloween is gonna do not, anything. It's not gonna. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I don't know. Yeah, Sam and I were Sam and I and some other friends. We were watching Talk to Me, uh, which is this like new scary yeah. film. Uh, I've watched it three times now. 
really like, good. It's really good. I lived with one of the directors for like two months in that house. Really? Yeah, it was a oh weird thing. Oh my god. Yeah, and then I didn't even know they made the movie, and then I saw when Anthony interviewed them, I'm like, I lived with that guy. He dyed his hair to look like an Uno board once. <laughs> That was a crazy time. That's crazy. I didn't know who they were before there's, VidCon. There's so much weird Emma lore. That's so interesting. Yeah. That's um, a weird thing. It's a good movie, but I I was telling uh, Sam during it, because we were talking about, like, would you touch the hand? And I was like, I would never touch the hand, because I would never even touch a Ouija board. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, you haven't known me for long enough yet. So... If we have to touch a Ouija board next time, if we actually go exploring together, I'm so sorry. That's probably my fault. That's okay. I'll take. You know, I maybe you know I haven't. Maybe if that's what it takes right. for me to get some ghost gussy, <laughs> yeah, true. then true. You're like I gotta do what I gotta point. do at this point. If I gotta do the Ouija board, like if I can flirt with them, be like, hey. yeah, so like, you're looking good tonight. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, not the gussy. Really gussy. <laughs> 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 Look, you know, again, I'm a I'm a monster fucker first, asexual <laughs> second. That's the yeah. tier, okay? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find some other good ones. I'm just like randomly yeah, clicking that's fine. on them. Um. Okay. I'm gonna read that one. This story is from my mom. British people. But when I was Sorry, younger, man. I used to sit up in my bed while I was sleeping and talk to someone at the end of my bed. When my mom would ask who I was talking to, my response would always be the same, great grandma. The same thing. You don't got like a funny name for your grandma? Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being a cunt. What is wrong it's with okay. me? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You're all good. This is content. Um, the same things happened in the car, but I was awake, bearing in mind she's been alive for 20 years before I was born. Ooh. I think I saw my grandma when she died. I think I I think I think knew when she died. I knew the night because I woke up in the middle of the night and I went downstairs into the living room and my, my mom just got the call. Mm -hmm. So I knew, I knew when she died. And then also she gave me a teddy. Um, like she, like I, I, I inherited this, the te little teddy bear and it was hers. And um, now I don't have them anymore and I haven't been seeing her. But every time I, I was sad back then, I felt like she was comforting me. Oh. Yeah. So I think she was around for a while. I don't know if she still is. I haven't really. I guess I haven't really been thinking about her much, and that's why I think she hasn't been around much. But I also think maybe she was attached to the teddy bear, which I don't have right now. It's in Switzerland. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm excited to get the teddy bear back and know for sure. Have you ever done like a seance, like a medium type of thing? No, I have not. I never really. The first medium I had ever met was at the Hellfire Caves. I never met a medium oh. before that. My yeah. mom did one. Um, she had a crazy experience because like she lost her dad when she was like ten, mm -hmm. and then she's also just like lost like a lot of people like in her life, like mm -hmm. at a, like just varying ages and stuff. And I, it was like a bunch of people from work, and it, I don't know. It was I don't know. It was like I don't know what the who it was, but. There was like a two year like wait list. Like now I'm like signed up for this thing with all her coworkers oh, no. and stuff. And they all like signed up for this thing. It cost, I don't know, probably, I don't even know how much money it cost, but they all did it. And um, like the entire session, like, cause there was, I don't know how many, I think there's probably like eight other people like there in the room with her, but the entire session, like people just kept coming through to my mom. And it was like, she felt really bad though. Cause other people were trying to like connect with like, the, but like, like all of my mom's religious. people were like all coming through to her and like oh, talking to her and stuff like that. And apparently it was like, really personal and stuff like that like there was a lot of stuff like her dad and everything like we're all talking to her but um like and she's got it she it was really awkward though because like these other people are trying to get in contact with their relatives mm -hmm. but like it like all of her ancestors and stuff were all like monopolizing it and like just talking like to her and like oh through the medium to her directly did they yeah. like try and tell her something or? yeah i think they were just like you know like good job you know it was like really like wholesome stuff you That's know sweet. i think she had a really good experience with it like it really worked out for her but then i feel bad for the people that i like, couldn't get in contact with anybody you yeah, know that tried to yeah but my mom yeah. like i think like spirits really attached to my mom like very easily and stuff too mm -hmm. i think just i don't know fortunately she's had a lot of loss so mm -hmm. i think that's just what happens yeah but yeah um yeah yeah, I, I would be really intrigued in, like, doing one of these. I, it, I think it would be really interesting for me, but I've never done it. I had The only thing I had was, like, a tarot card reading, and it was mm -hmm. pretty accurate. I've so. had some really good tarot readers. Yeah. Yeah, I had one predict a lot of weird shit for me. 
Huh. Like, to the point where they said someone was going to contact me, like, on the day, and they got it right. Yeah. Shout out Ray. Love my tarot reader. I haven't had a reading from them in, like, years, but mm. they used the, like, three times I got readings from them, they were hella accurate. That's crazy. Like, again, like, sp again, like two, like, dates, like, specific. Like, they were yeah. crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I want to meet Ray now. <laughs> yeah. I can give you contact. I don't know if they still do readings, but... Mm. That's fair. I can let you know. Um... All right, let's read this one. The day my dad died, I was in school and I saw him full wait, and I saw him full apparition of him peeking around the corner in the classroom I was in. I've also had multiple accounts of smelling him and I've heard his voice. Yeah. That's wholesome. That is very sweet. He just he's around you. Yeah. I hope I don't see my dad. <laughs> God, yeah. I smell like a Marlboro Gold, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, you're like, oh, hi, oh. Dad. Like Marlboro Gold and bourbon. I'm like, oh, there's Tom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that'd be terrible. Oh, I know. <laughs> that'd be, yeah. that'd be awful. I can't let you into my house. <laughs> oh, I told this story to my chat the, the other time, but I, I, didn't, I haven't told you the story. I, one time, my mom, I when I was younger, my parents weren't around much, so we had a lot of au pairs mm -hmm. that, who were like nannies who were taking care of us. And one time, my mom, she was away, everyone was away. It was just me and the au pair, and my brother was sleeping. Um, and my mom was in a car accident in like the mountains. And the sec, like, I all out of nowhere started screaming and bawling my eyes out, like, like, like horrible, like, I want my mom what's wrong with my mom i want to see my mom i need to see my mom like crying screaming like like out of nowhere and my au pair was like what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. like she's having a breakdown and she tries to call my mom like Make my mom doesn't pick up and nothing happens break. turns out the second the impact happened and my mom crashed i started like screaming crying yeah, and later Ew. that Ew. night she, we, the au pair found out that my mom was like flown to the hospital in a helicopter that's how bad it was and like, I don't know how. It, like I, Ew, I don't I remember literally it. Have goosebumps. Yeah, like Ew. I don't remember it. I don't know, but it was like it was scary. It was crazy. My mom tells the story all the time. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, she. I think she even connected with that au pair a few years ago, and that au pair told the story. She was like, "That was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced." That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, because like again, like anxious paranoid person. You know, anytime you're, you know, I'm sure other people do this. You know, anytime your parents are like out of the house for too long at the store, yeah. you're like, they fucking died. You're like, you're like what's going on? I'm, I'm like, like, oh, an oh, orphan. Yeah, that's it. Like I start like, yeah. even to this day, I'm like, that's it. She's gone. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm like checking her location. I'm like, where's my mother? <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Wow. It's crazy. That was okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's fine. But I've always so my mom had a lot of ac not accidents and like had like a lot of like times where she almost died. And every time I found her, every time my mom, like one time, she came home like all beaten up and like like terribly bruised and full with blood and like I showered her. I laid her in bed, and. I went back to sleep because it was really early in the morning and i wake up with like this really like pushing feeling of like oh my god if i don't do anything right now my mom's gonna die and then my mom i go to my mom and she's asleep i call the ambulance and later in the hospital they tell me that if i would have called half an hour later my mom would have died and i woke up like out of nowhere out of sleep like like it was crazy and it, it happened so many times so like every time my mom almost died i found her so I think I'm like really connected to my mom. <laughs> I think I'm really connected. That's to my mom. so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, sounds like trauma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I look like this. Chat. You don't just look like this out of nowhere. No. <laughs> Uh, when you're emo now, yeah. you changed. <laughs> I changed. I you really look so did. sad now. I am so. <laughs> I look so, so sad. I miss the what old ha dream. Of what days. happened to her? What happened to her? She looks so She's sad. Not blonde now. anymore. Yeah. She respects herself. Where's the pink hair. Yeah. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's. Oh, I read socks. I thought it was another socks one, but. Oh yeah, I re we read this one. Damn. My dead mother always knocks the fucking birthday and Christmas cards off the wall. That's sad. That's really sad. Yeah. Aw. These are all sad. Now this is sad. <laughs> uh, 
Um, let's see if we can find a not so sad one. Um, this is a cousin one. Maybe that one is less sad. Yeah. In 2020, my cousins and I were going through my aunt's stuff after she passed away, and we found her Bible collection. She was very opinionated, to say the least, and she highlighted some of the homophobic verses. This is, this, I'm sorry, this is not very not we were, sad. Yeah, we were reading them and kind of making fun of it. Midway through one of the quotes, my ponytail got pulled so hard it threw me off balance. I believe my whole heart, my aunt haunts my basement now. <laughs> your homophobic <laughs> your aunt your homophobic your homophobic aunt. She freaking yaga to you because you were like, damn, gay people deserve their rights. <laughs> That's terrible. That's all insane. Oh my god. <laughs> you should, you should, no, I, I'm not gonna say that. I was like, you should, like, go into the basement and just, like, tell your aunt, like, come out to your aunt and, like, say some, like, make out with someone of the same gender. Yeah, like, something like that, but that'll just enrage her, so yeah. maybe that's not the smartest thing to do. Jesus but Christ. that's wild. Why are the homophobic ghosts allowed to come back? Right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, me, my brother, and our best friend decided to do some silly ghost summoning things like Bloody Mary in the mirror and stuff. Uh, oh, I think I read Sorry, that someone in chat was like, was like gay people slash neg. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Her aunt be like, oh yeah, bro was like gay people slash neg. I love that. Uh, oh, I don't love that. But no. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love gay people. We do love gay people. I'm a gay people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, we're, we're, we're one of you. <laughs> we are gay people. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think we read this on the course. So... Okay. I have lived in my house for about nine years now. We built it. Our floors have had their years and they creak. After nine years? Interesting. Um, so whenever someone steps in front of the bedroom door, the floor creaks. And every day since we lived here, I have been hearing the creaks clearly in front of my bedroom even though no one is there. I feel like I'm going crazy. No, no, <laughs> don't like that. That is terrifying. Yeah. Um, move out, burn the house. Um, fucking go away, leave. <laughs> yeah. Leave. That's always why I always say like, I could never have kids mm -hmm. because if my kid comes up to me and it's like, and I'm like, hey, what are you up to little Timmy? And they're like, oh, I was playing with my imaginary friends. I'm leaving them at the orphanage. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm like, oh, that's great. I'm leaving you on the front steps of the church and being like, it was nice knowing you. I'll yeah. make another one. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I can't have kids. The second they're like, my imaginary friend or like Uncle Bob was upstairs. No, the fuck he was not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are not playing with demons in this house, yeah. little Timmy. Or the fucking red eyed devil. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, saw the red -eyed I don't know how my mom. He read a bedtime that. story. No, the fuck he did not. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No, you're right. That's scary. No. That's terrible. No, that's why I can't have kids. If they talk to the ghost, yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I don't yeah. blame you. That is terrifying. I cannot. Probably not the reason why I wouldn't have kids, but also, yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, that's my reason. That's what I'm going to tell people. It's yeah. like, oh, no, I don't want to have kids because I don't want them to talk to ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Not only have I been seeing shadow figures since I... Wait, is it my turn? Uh, it can be. No, you can't. I don't know. I actually I don't, don't know. know. Okay, you can. You, you, no, I, no, you you're started. Like, yes. Okay. Well, okay, next one is yours then. Chat, next one is Emma's. Okay. Um, not only have I been seeing shadow figures since I was eight, but within the past year, so much shit has been happening in my house. I've heard my mom speaking to someone downstairs, even though I've been home alone. I've heard somebody walk up and down the stairs whilst the baby gate had been opening and closing at 4 a.m. My bowl of crystals have violently shook multiple times. My dog will randomly bark at the corner of the living room where one of the old owners died people have been walking around upstairs while either everyone is downstairs or i'm completely home alone things will randomly move around the house doors have slammed shut honestly so much shit just in this house never mind in the previous house your house is haunted yeah your house is fucking haunted. yeah just a yeah. haunted house that's yeah. a haunted house your house is haunted yeah um the house the the streamer house that we were talking about i actually every time i was all the way upstairs kept hearing like metal screeching like it, it that's sounded a thing like, yeah. yeah and then afterwards like minx was like have you ever ex like whenever you were alone upstairs have you ever heard stuff and i was like yeah i heard like the metal like someone was like dragging like a chair like, heavy yeah. metal like and she was like oh my god everyone has heard that before yeah oh so, yeah like you know that house that why house didn't the ghost well. fuck with me i know i'm so self -con this is like again like at least like dozen like a couple dozen people mm. like at least two dozen people have seen yeah. a ghost in this house because everybody was over there all the time yeah what about me i was there constantly yeah 
Why, why am I not good enough? Why am I not good enough for the ghost? Why am I not good enough for anyone? I'm not good enough for the paranormal. I know dead people. I know. Like, what the fuck? I'm so accepting and nice. What the hell? I don't know, man. I just want a ghost. I just want a little ghost buddy. <laughs> yeah. I deserve it. You deserve it. You do deserve it. You but do. a good one, not a, a bad one. one. I mean, I'll take either. It'll be funny. <laughs> At this point. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, if I have an you mean ghost, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> if I had a cunt ass ghost, like pushes my shit over and <laughs> yeah. stuff, like trashes yeah. my room, I'd be like, yeah. this people might as well are happen. over. If people are over, like stuff falls off the walls, you're like, oh, that's just Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, he doesn't even pay rent. So. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm real. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Read this one. Oh. oh. I zoned out. Sorry, good. I got a little. You're all good. Poop the ghost. <laughs> yeah. um, two summers ago, I was lying down. Re sorry. <clears throat> Two summers ago, I was lying down reading my book called Charlotte Says, which is about sm these small porcelain dolls, no, that take <laughs> over people's minds. And at one point in it, the girl feels a cold hand wrap around her ankle, no. Oh my and God. And it's very good and I recommend it. But anyway, while I was reading it, I could feel a cold hand slowly wrap around my ankle under the bed sheets. I don't know if you'd call that paranormal, but I guess it's quite creepy. Oh. No, I, okay, I have my number one irrational fear mm. is dolls. Interesting. I hate dolls, hate them, hate them. A porcelain doll, yeah. I'll set myself on fire. Like, I do not fuck with dolls. It's my number. Like, even when yeah. I was a kid, like, when I would, like, ima like when I'd be upstairs alone, mm -hmm. like, I'd be imagining, like, a fucking doll, like, coming doll. at me. Like, I always pictured, like, whenever I picture ghosts and demons, like, in my head, like, it's always, like, a little doll. doll. Fre they freak me out. That's why I don't have them. Yeah, because Lo you have so many little knickknacks, but you don't have dolls. Yeah, I don't have. Do yeah. I don't do dolls. I have lots of weird other creepy shit. You know, mm -hmm. like, I'm dead animals yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like But uh, a doll... Yeah, will not mess with. Dude, like, Loey has a bunch. She, like, collects them. Mm -hmm. And I remember she wanted to do, like, a video introducing me to them, and I had to be like, girl, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> I, can't I can't. I'll freak out. But I remember she told me one time, one of her dolls, like, she, oh, my God, you know what we should do? You know what's great content? If we go on eBay right now and we look up haunted dolls and the descriptions of them are fucking, they'll be like succubus ones, and That's it'll right. be and it'll be like it'll suck you good in the middle of the night. Like if you buy this doll, like it's crazy. And like there's this one woman who like says her parents are murdered and she buys all these dolls and rehomes them because she's trying to find the vessel that her parents inhabit. Because like I think like her mom like murdered her dad or something. I'm not even kidding. Haunted doll eBay is the craziest shit. It is the cra like I will do that when I just get bored. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, haunted dolls active? Yeah. Because, like, they, like, drag themselves around your house and shit. Loewe has one that does that. Oh, my God. Wait, we need, I need to change the camera. Yeah. I'm sorry. He's, like, yelled at you. I'm just talking. No, you're talk. so fine. That I'm is sorry. terrifying. Chad, I just sound very aggressive. But, no, this is, like, this is content. Like, this is this could be hours of content. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're, like, they'll have the wackest shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, like, if obviously I haven't it. looked at listings in a while, but I just type in, like, haunted. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, where do we see the description? I don't know, I'm normally on my phone. Sometimes they don't have one. Mm. I don't think this one has one. I don't know. Chat, am I dumb? Maybe I'm haunted doll active. Yeah, let's do No, nah, the Draculaure is not gonna active. be haunted. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um... Where do I see descriptions, chat? I think it would just show up. Uh, all of these dolls are ugly. Um, That's not Monster High. This is not a Monster High doll. Fucking Draculaura. Not Monster You're gonna tell me this is not a fucking Monster High doll? Yeah, Monster High, 13 Wishes, Draculaura. Bitch. <laughs> ew, oh ew. God. Look at this fucking thing. Country boy. Oh, I love God. you. I've, I've never really used eBay, so I don't, I don't know. I've never used it on a computer. On a computer, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, they're lower down than you expect. Oh, oh here. Okay. Item description. Yeah. This one is truly haunted, or see it for yourself. I'm selling them in a bundle. I sell this one as country boy. Very active. <laughs> I hear noises from his room. They always move my bed at night. Crack doors, etc. Is very active. Now, I don't guarantee you have the same experience as me. You're the only buying a regular doll. Thank you so much. Okay. Type in like succubus. Do you hear that? What? Look, she's hearing that. It's fucking people screaming. Oh, I heard like the siren. I'm hearing. Oh, right maybe now. that's what it was. Okay. Haunted dolls. Joel and uh, John and Hannah. Active. Prince Princess Charles, Charles and Diana. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 
there we go. See, here, here we go. This okay. is a good one. eBay makes me add their policy. There is no guarantee of any paranormal activity. You are only purchasing a tangible door as a... Oh, so eBay says you have to say that. Mm -hmm. Everything mentioned in this listing is for entertainment purposes only. No returns and no refunds. We are paranormal investigators and I'm a witch. We help haunted slash purchase items to find a good home. Meet John and Hannah. John is 28 and Hannah is 26. They passed away in a car accident while they were on their honeymoon. They had dated for two years before they got married and they had a fairy tale wedding. They are so much in love and couldn't wait to have children. John likes to go out dancing. He likes action and horror movies. He likes romantic walks on the beach in the moonlight. He loves to bring his bride flowers. Hannah loves to cook and bake. She loves to go on picnics at the lake. She loves being- Bars. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. She loves being with her husband and going to movies. She likes romance and horror movies. She's go she's a good wife and only this is like this is like a seventies marriage. Yeah. <laughs> and make her husband ha she likes to make her husband happy. She loves painting and making artwork and she's good at it. She had sold a few other of her paintings and had just opened a small studio in her home to sell the artwork. They both are loving and friendly. Sometimes they flicker our lights. Hannah has rung the, our phone a few times. John has opened and shut doors. We have felt cold spots with both of them. So far, they have communicated through feelings, pen on pendulums, making noises, spirit boards, and dreams. They are ready to find their new home. Can you help them? The dolls are Prince Charles and Princess Diana dolls. Uh, and then it's just like a description. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, let's find like a tape and like succubus. Oh, the clown! Click on the clown. The clown. Look at the fucking clown. full body apparitions, oh. positive spirits in the active. Oh. Click on the second photo. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself in a video game. Real um, haunted clown dolls, full body apparitions, positive spirits, Sydney. Sydney is from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a clown in school. He made this his vessel. He only lived to be the age of 15. That's when he was shot and killed from a stray bullet in Australia. He is a great spirit to have around and likes to move things around to make you think you were losing your mind. He has full body apparitions, shadow flickering lights and footsteps, etc. Just looking for his forever home. If you feel drawn to him, then he's calling for you. Follow my YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, one. And then we have like, we have feedback. Fast delivery to Sweden, nice doll. I hope Eric is here now. Time will tell. Great communication. Answer all my questions. You came packed well and arrived quickly. So it's like different ones. Yeah. Ooh. Please buy him, OMG. Ooh. No, not the screenshot of the fucking camera. Oh, it's a it's yeah, a orb. ghost orb. Oh, there are a few orbs. Okay. I don't. Oh, 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 fucking face. Oh my god. Oh. They just keep getting worse. God. Oh, there's a big one as well. Haunted dolls active. Haunted dolls active. Positive spirits. The dolls come from my paranormal investigator friend's personal collection. He rarely parts with those. They come from investigations done during the 90s to 2000s. After doing a recent reading, they told him that they are ready to move on and help some help someone else. These Look, dolls, if it dolls, what it takes to cure me, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> These dolls are all positive spirits. They bring good luck and will help you with making better life decisions, spiritually, companionship, keeping negative negativity away, and decision making. Perfect for those okay. that may be sh uh, shy or have small social circles. I just want to say this <laughs> this motherfucker is, is not helping help me. me fucking find <laughs> friends this is not yeah. this this is not gonna help me find they are your friends you don't need friends because you have them <laughs> bro oh that my god terrible i like the anna nicole smith hair on that one <laughs> you want it yeah it's 57 dollars type in succubus find a succubus, succubus one those ones are crazy haunted dolls succubus. they're like they'll eat your ass in the middle of the night like they're nuts ew 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 ew, 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 ew. shut the fuck up <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> No, 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 hell no, hell fucking no. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is the tits. This is what we need. <laughs> the paranormal zone. <laughs> Meet oh Lilith. She God. is a succubus spiritual tangible doll vessel that will get you shipped to you in the mail. Oh my 
Lilith is her name, 17 inches. Hi, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Terry, I'm a paranormal investigator. I've been collecting paranormal dolls and items for over 35 years. I travel to many different areas in the United States in search of paranormal items and activities. People on here are always asking me how I, how do I have so many paranormal dolls to sell on here on eBay? So I thought I'd give you some background on me. I also lived by a very old and large cemetery that is backed up to my home. So I have no problem attracting paranormal entities to my items. Oh, okay, enough uh, about me. Okay. okay. The beautiful 50-year-old dark-headed doll vessel was uh, has attracted the succubus named Lilith. She's a female supernatural entity that appears in dreams to seduce men and females, usually through sexual activity in their dreams. From what I read about this entity, she's a sexual predator that will come to you while you are sleeping. She ha has her spell-binding blue eyes with long hair pulled up to seduce you. She's a very fancy, sad and sl black slash white dress. She will come with a surprise that will helps enhance your experience <gasps> oh, no. she oh, is a seductive sexual dreamwalker which means she can and will come to you in your dreams at her time of choosing she has no preference as the new owner will find out for themselves as time goes by you <laughs> you will seem to have a lot more erotic sexual dreams when she's in your room or home lilith is a haunted spiritual doll vessel that seems to be watching over you she is a paranormal doll vessel that is 18 inches long she has gorgeous lifelike eyes and long lashes if you are looking at bring some real fun into your home and add some dreams at night uh then she is for you lots of crazy dreams in the night with this one you will never be alone with lilith by your bedside she's in great condition lilith comes with a spell enhancer bless sticks for great luck if you want a strong spiritual vessel use the buy it now first and get her fast before she is gone if you look at the last two pictures i posted they came from two of my repeat customers i got dolls from me Oh, it just goes in. Orbs. Oh, she's so freaky looking. Uh, that bitch is creepy as fuck. Let's see. <gasps> she's haunted. I felt her presence right away and not his face changes. No. Want an animal experience? This is where to buy. Dolls move and talk. Crazy. Oh my god. I feel like I just went down a rabbit hole. I've never knew how. Yeah, I, I just crazy. remembered this and I'm like, this is this is the content. This is crazy. Oh my Oh, look, this person has an EMF reader. He has an EMF three on this one. That one's not that bad. I don't like when they're children. I don't like the fact that some of them are children. <clears throat> Monique was a highly esteemed what is, courtesan from a long, long time ago. Her salon attracted the most sophisticated and influential man of her time. Drawn to her expertise in what was known as French love during that period, French sexual techniques mainly referred to oral sex and were considered quite common this rarity contributed to her popularity solidifying oh quite uncommon uh solidifying her reputation as one of the greatest courtesans of her age monique is a very for is very forward about her desires and intense passion her libido knows no bounds <laughs> she seems <laughs> oh my fucking god imagine being so down bad you gotta buy a doll to fuck you yeah what honestly Hey. Some of our subs might need this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She's already showing signs of life. Oh my god. This is terrible. Why don't incels just buy sex dolls? Right? Buy sex ghost dolls. Oh my god. Let's go back to the actor. Yeah. <laughs> I just... Even the pictures are just terrifying. Oh, they're so wack. Surprise box! Surprise box will contain one or more of my positive active spirits haunted dolls. Yeehaw. Haunted dolls that are bonded spirits. Two dolls, very active. And it's a fucking... Ugh. <gasps> they're like real baby dolls. Ew! Uh... Imagine, imagine, like... You know how one of them has a closed eye and one of them has the open one? Imagine one day they switch. Or one of them opens No, that's the, the thing. Eyes. When people talk about like in their facial expression changing, I want to peel my skin off. No, it freaks actually. me the hell out. Baby Constance. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh okay. Positive haunted dolls are two bonded spirits. Baby Constance refuse refuses to be bothered by the other vessels and chooses to slumber throughout it all. However, she becomes very active when she gets lonely and will appear as a cold blue orb floating like a bouncing ball whenever she manifests. Also, a lot of these dolls manifest as orbs. 
I guess that's what people are saying. I have like mixed feelings on the orb thing. Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm like, I, don't, I, I definitely don't know. like. It doesn't feel concrete enough when people are like, I saw an orb. I'm like, that could be, it could be anything. Could be anything. Stuff. Yeah, that's fair. I've seen like, I, I know I don't want to. Obviously, I don't want to spoil the Conjuring House, but I did see like steam, like that's in different. the form of like a ball. But yeah, that wasn't really a ghost orb. Mmm, this is terrifying. Ugh! What the fuck? New listing. Haunted doll, Olivia Active Teen Girl. Tangible doll. Why are these pictures so bad? <laughs> Why is so, this just cut off? I kind of love that. New profile pic. A new profile pic. <laughs> the haunted doll. I love it. Oh my god. Please take better pictures. What are you- Actually, these pictures are perfect for a haunted doll, I guess. Yeah. This is terrifying. I want us to find that lady. I don't know that one shop where again I told you, like her whole description's like, yeah, like my mother murdered my father, and now yeah. I try to find a vessel like that. Because her descriptions were nuts, and she had hella succubus ones. Oh my god. She was 14 years old. She was murdered by a, an extended family member after she told them she was going to tell him what even. Oh. oh this is terrible. This is sad. I think a lot of these are obviously children, because children like go towards toys and dolls yeah ew 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 the cracked one the cracked one charlotte positive oh the feet of broken fingers oh my god <laughs> she's snoring <laughs> she's like breathing so heavily charlotte is an odd feeling energy at first i felt like she was negative after doing some sessions i have found her to be a watcher and rather strange but positive me um <laughs> <laughs> she is an old soul that lived deep in the mountains with four children. She says her husband died a year after her last son was born. A tree fell on him when he was getting firewood for the winter. Oh, Aww. That's really sad. Charlotte lived a hard life and barely went into town ex ex except to get supplies and food when needed. She wasn't a people person for sure. Charlotte was proficient in sewing, skinning, knitting, crochet, and cooking. She also she had many more skills. Oh, I can't Aww. hold on. My eyes are like not focusing You're and okay. everything's turning blurry. Um, she had many more skills that she had to learn along the way. She didn't believe in banks, so she made a hole in the mattress and a coffee so she can hide around the house. She passed away from pneumonia in her late 50s. Charlotte will get a feel for who you are before she gets comfortable to talk. She doesn't trust people very well. Aww. You will get that feeling that when she is in your presence. If you feel like you have a connection with Charlotte or she may be reaching out to you, please place a bid or buy now an option to adopt her now. Remember, there are no accidents. Damn. That's actually really sweet. And this is also Stan Charlotte. Somebody buy her yeah. right now. Yeah, Charlotte seems very sweet. Yeah. Damn. She's like. Ugh. <gasps> terrifying. Oh, what? Why? Demonic <gasps> possessed. This one. Oh yeah, Emily. Revenge. Ew. Her eyes. Okay, real haunted doll, very active. Wait, this doll has been relisted the winter of the previous auction. Said as soon as the auction was won, unexplained things started to happen with her and she became scared and did not want it, so it was cancelled. Remember, this is not a toy. Long ago, in the quiet town of Fairview, Fairview Alpha, Louisiana, there lived a young girl named Emily. She was loved, she was a loved doll named, wait, she had a beloved doll named Lily. Abandoned in a beautiful what? Adorned. I, adorned. Sorry, I can't. No, it's okay. Read. The text is like weird, right? It's, it's, is it is, yeah. yeah. In a beautiful white dress with delicate lace trim, Lily had a special charm. Gave the doll away to a child with wait, am I dumb? Uh, her eyes glowed <clears throat> an eerie shade of green. There we go. Captivating anyone who gazed at him. I'm just trying to read this. Oh, the text is like tiny. It, yeah. We're getting old, we can't read small text anymore. <laughs> Tragically, Emily's life was cut short when she fell victim to a mysterious illness. Her untimely demise left her family bereft and distraught at her loss. Unable to gaze upon Lily without their heart breaking, the family gave the doll away to a child without means unknowing Emily's spirit had become bound to Lily. Oh Heartbroken and seemingly abandoned by her family, Emily's spirit became filled with rage. From that day forward, strange occurrences plagued Fairview Alpha. People reported hearing faint whispers at night and some claim to have seen the doll moving on its own. The townsfolk were convinced Emily's restless spirit was responsible for these eerie happenings. As the legend spread, rumors circulated that anyone who possessed the doll would have a similar fate to Emily. People who feared the doll 
People began to fear the doll, and it was passed from one person to another, like a cursed artifact. Each new owner experienced unexplained accidents or misfortunes, leading to the belief that Emily's spirit sought revenge on those who possessed her beloved Lily. The cause of Emily's death remained a mystery, adding to the chilling aura surrounding the haunted doll. Some whispered that it was a rare illness, while others speculated foul play. Regardless of the case, regardless of the cause, the doll's one thing became a cautionary tale, warning all who heard it to stay away from the doll and its eerie green-eyed gaze. To this day, the haunted doll in the white dress with glowing green eyes remains a chilling presence of Fairview Alpha. Its story serves as a reminder of to I can't read. Uh, its story <laughs> serves as a reminder of the power of a love and loss and the lingering spirits that may haunt the objects they hold dear. So beware if you ever come across Lily, for her haunting tale is one of the is one that sends shivers down the spines of all who dare to listen. Ghost emoji, skull emoji. <laughs> Ghost emoji, skull emoji. Ooh. I don't know. I feel like. Even, okay, even if this is not real and it's just like a creepy doll, like, whatever, why would you buy that? Why would you, Yeah. you know, like, I I just wouldn't, even even if, if, if there was, like, j- just for the fact that there could be a chance that this is real. For 500 bucks. For $500. This is like, you know what the Moldavite bitches should buy this? Remember Moldavite? Yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, oh it'll, my it'll God. change it. The Moldavite bitches gotta get into the haunted dolls. I wanna oh, see this faceless little bitch underneath one? her. Yeah. yeah. I think we can make <gasps> this one. <laughs> no. I think we can make this one the last one. Okay. Ew. Mm. okay. I just know it's crunchy. Authentic real haunted doll. Real haunted, extremely active. You can read it. Uh, activity EMF spirit box disembodied whistling. No. Shadows, cabinets open and close, cold spots, K2. During investigations, we heard a disembodied whistle from him as if he was trying to get our attention. He is more attracted to female investigators and likes to call them. <laughs> get cat called by the doll? Imagine. By the 14 year old doll named yeah. Paul? He's active right, with Paul. the EMF detector and spirit box as well as the K2. Follow my YouTube channel. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I've seen this person. No, yeah, we saw them before. Ew. Okay, wow, this is really interesting. I'm actually I actually want to go through some Yeah, of this is like that. That is good. It's content. That's that's good. That's crazy. I did not think that was a thing. I did not think people even wanted to ha- own haunted dolls. Why would you? No, it's a whole thing. Um, wow. Wow. Lame thank you, Asla. Um back to stories. I we don't have the sorted out stories chat these are only like they're not sorted out yet so i think i'm gonna ask my mods um to go through a couple more for next time um so i think i'm gonna end stream here how long have we been live yeah i think i think this is where i'm gonna end stream today but we will i'll sort out some more for next time and we'll read some more next time uh, and then maybe we read some more haunted doll stuff as well, because that's very interesting. Remember when Nikki was known for her nice and wholesome content? Also, Emma. I still do nice and wholesome content. Ghosts because they are just scared of you. Okay. But that's not fun. Yeah. I I'm still known for nice and wholesome content. Hell yeah, I do nice and wholesome yeah, content. Yeah. I'm nice and wholesome. Um, I read that. I took that so passive aggressively. <laughs> Nick always does like passive aggressive remarks. So. Oh, okay. He is he is passive aggressive. Um, but yeah, that was fun. What did you think? That was fun. Yeah. That was good. I'm sorry I roasted you guys. That's cool. Silly guy. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure they liked it. It's a it's it's a difference from like me never roasting them. Yeah. You know, sometimes I don't know. <laughs> it just be like that. <laughs> that was fun though. I'm gonna try and get some more people on stream to read these with me, chat. Um, and then I'm I'm gonna try and sort some more out as well. But if you guys want to submit your stuff exclamation mark spooky i think it is to get to the link to submit your own stories and tell the story tell the like stories. write it out don't be yes. like a fucking cup fell off my shelf give us the details <laughs> yes like even lie make it interesting at least <laughs> i don't know yeah we want the juicy details we yeah. want to you know don't just say scary things happen tell yeah. us what exactly happened um because the more in depth the more we can obviously react to and it we can entertain you yeah exactly yeah um yeah that was fun i enjoyed that thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it as well chat what did you think what do you think of the spooky stories do you like it did you like it do you like it it's been such a cozy stream despite all the horror stories 
Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad you thought that. I'm glad you thought it was cozy. We definitely have not been cozy. Yeah. We've been like He's paranoid. My emotional support I'm, Twitch I'm pillow. I'm glad nothing happened this time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Twitch for the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> My support I've gotten from Twitch. You loved it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, we're doing some more stuff. Um, obviously, now with Halloween coming up very quickly, I have a lot of more spooky content for you to come up as well. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was great. Let's see who we. Can yeah. Play. Thanks for being cool, chat. Yeah. Thank you, chat, for always being nice and cool. Oh, let's let's write the Bocha sisters, guys. Oh, they're not there right now. They're playing poker though. Oh my god. All of my friends have recently been getting into poker and I don't know how to play that, how to play it. So I always just sit next to them like, yeah, yeah. that's great. We should learn and then dominate. Should learn yeah. play poker. Play poker. Become learn how better, to hustle these bitches. Become better than all of them. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think that's a good plan. But chat, until then, go ahead and give the Bocha sisters my love, our love. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being <laughs> nice. I hope you enjoyed the spooky stories. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. smooches. Bye. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Don't let the ghosts get you. Yeah.